at times in North Bay in our area, I think we, we make deals with the wrong people. We trust the wrong people with our government money and with our own money to do things that either they're not capable of or never intend to do. And I, I believe without being on the inside that this is kind of one of those cases. Okay. Now it gets interesting. Well, even more so because then you, there are dots connected um, because the principal involved with this is also uh, involved with land uh, ownership of a building that's uh, the four uh, on Lakeshore, the former uh, Farquhar building, which is a delayed project that you, you, you outlined um, for uh, addictions treatment. So, yeah, so this is one, um, you know, I, I kind of call it my stink test and uh, this other article we we referenced with with this movie studio that was a stink test one for me. Like I I didn't believe it from the get go, and I think I've got a pretty good sense of these things now uh, after all these years. So that one I didn't believe, but I followed, and it turned out you know unfortunately for the people that work there that I was right. And just for clarity, that 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 was the article you published last week about the uh, North Star Studio. I think it was Monday. It was a Monday? Yeah. Okay. So the, yeah, it seems like a week ago. Two, <laughs> two things I'm really proud of in one week, yeah. which doesn't happen. Trust me. You know, we'll be having you back here next week. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's I'm just, so it, it, the stink test, that, and that's what it is. So with this one, uh, as far as the addiction center, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Uh, you know, it, it's taken a long time. Wait, is it? Wait, are you saying it might not happen? I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Okay, I'm not saying it is going to happen either, though. Yeah. But that's one where so we're going back two years now um, when they announced it, and I asked some questions that day that really nobody could answer. Nobody seemed to know anything about it. It was all very pie in the sky. But we did know that we had six point four million dollars from the provincial government to help it along. Some kind of grants. They couldn't explain what the grants would be for, whether it was building or operations. That wasn't clear. Who couldn't explain? Well, we were there. I mean, Fidelity was there. Uh, George Burton was there. Um, my, uh, minister Tabolo was there. So he's the he's the associate minister of addiction, health, and addictions, or something like that. Deputy minister. Yeah. yeah. So he's like an associate. He's associate minister of health, basically. And uh, a lot of the people involved with. So the people that own the building, or at least as far as I know, they've, they've owned it. They're the owners of record as far as I know. Maybe they sold it in the last month. I don't think so. But they, that's the people that own the uh, Lady Isabel or um, Trout Creek Senior Living. And those people are from, all their offices are based in Vaughan or Woodbridge part of Vaughan. Michael Tobolo, the Minister of Health, uh, Associate Minister of Health, represents Vaughan Woodbridge. He's the MPP for Vaughn Woodbridge. So these so people those all, are know the dots you're all know each other. They all know each other. I mean, just because they're all from the same place, hey, it's a lot of people live there, you know, a couple hundred thousand now. But that's that's what got me interested. And, and all of a sudden, we were giving money out up north to build these addiction centers, and not one of them is opened. And they talked a lot about adding long-term care beds, and none of that has happened. It, it, Stu, sorry, it, just because there's lots of dots. You mentioned something earlier on, and sorry, in my memory, I, I remember being in Sault Ste. Marie, and I was at a council meeting in Sault Ste. Marie. I think we were promoting um, Military Family Resource Center in that area. And, and I could have, sw- when you mentioned earlier in this interview, you 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 said something about Sault Ste. Marie, and I think the same owner or developer that you're talking about here was there, and is that what you're talking about? In Su- there's connections to Sault Ste. Marie as well. Yeah. So uh, Italo Ferrari is the man's name. Uh, I, was, I was actually conferred with my colleagues in Sault Ste. Marie yesterday from Sioux Today because they covered probably the same meeting you were at and several a series of where he, you know, he called uh, the uh, the actions of the council in the Sioux as like a concentration camp. Uh, so he ended up uh, apologizing to the, yes, to the city. I, I remember reading that so, today. And yeah. Mr. Ferrari has been kind of on my radar for a while. And I, I'm very careful not to call him the owners of things because a lot of times he's representing interests, which happen to be him, but not all. it's not always made clear. Okay. They're numbered companies. There are different things. But he is the face of a lot of these things. And But he, I have it confirmed that he is part of the, the, the Trail Creek Senior Living, which we started off with. And his company, Westroy Assets, uh, lists on their website to this day, the 352 Lakeshore Drive property where the addiction center is going to go as one of theirs. Okay. I also have it that they have a 25-year lease with Canada signed um, to run that, that facility. Okay. 